What is up, my lovelies? <clears throat> oh, jeez, my throat. And welcome to another episode of Natanamore Gaming. My name is Ryden, and today, this dehumidifier is loud. Go away. And today, we're going to be playing, for the very first time ever, Bioshock. Now, for those of you uh, out there who have played this game before, uh, you're welcome to continue watching this game because this game is amazing. Uh, but I'm going to preface this uh, as I'm setting up the game. I'm not going to do New Game Plus because I already beat this game. And it's just going to be regular New Game. And uh, I'm going to do Easy because I've actually played all on these other diff- Actually, you know what? Medium. Yeah, I played on other difficulties, but Medium was actually not that bad. It was fun. But uh, basically, this was the first, this is one of the first games I had ever played. When I was younger, the first M-rated game I ever played, actually it was Left 4 Dead. So I do want to play that game on this channel too at some point. But it was Left 4 Dead, and then the second one that I was allowed to play was this one. Son, was this you're game. special. This was, you were born to do great this things. game was my all time favorite you game. Now, uh, uh, unfortunately, you can't skip any of these cutscenes, so we are going to have to set through all of the cutscenes. But, uh, basically what happens in this is just plane crash. But, uh, this game I loved so much. And, uh, when I was younger, I never understood the story. I was just like, oh, I'm gonna play the game. So I'll play the game, because it's an animated game. It's gonna be so cool, and we'll be like all the adults and stuff. And it's like... It was just like that, like I loved it so much, and it was mainly just for that reason. But like, now that I play it when I'm older, I realize like all the cool stuff that's in the game, like splicers are basically like, they're the equivalent of heroin addicts, but with gene splicing. And it's sort of cool. But also at the same time, it's kind of messed up. But anyways, I love this game a lot, and we're gonna start playing this game. And uh, recently I actually beat this game on every single difficulty. Let me tell you, Insane took me so long. Even if I developed the, even with the strategy I had developed in the previous games, uh, pretty much, oh, what what I mean by that is like, uh, I would save up all my money until I had maximum money, and then I would buy. Even then, it was still insanely hard. Like there was, no, <laughs> that's why it's called insane. But it was insanely hard. Like there was barely any way to do. And barely any way to play insane other than just by like the skin of your teeth. So basically just kind of went around hoping you didn't die. And uh, that was basically the whole main part of the game. <laughs> just making sure you didn't get your head blown off in the process. Oh. <laughs> Love that. Alright, it's... Uh, it's completely nonchalant about all this stuff. <laughs> because I, uh... I, uh, set it so that way it was basically just like... Good for me, and controller sensitivity, you have to have all the way. I'm sorry, my nose is just itchy. The god dang. Yeah, I'll put on all the subtitles. Disable Vita Oh. That would be like so hard. In what country is there a place for people like me? That's not a very good quote, Andrew Ryan. That just makes you sound like really uh, egomaniacal or egotistical. Science. Industry. Art. So science, industry, and art. So that he basically just tried to pull a STEAM, like science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. Like that's, that's what STEAM stands for. Uh, if you don't know what STEAM stands for, look it up. It's actually a very cool thing. But basically, was he trying to do a STEAM in like the 60s? 10 fathoms. Oh, we're actually pretty deep right now. 18 fathoms. Uh, oh. This is the one thing I didn't like, so it made you think you were in a cutscene, but then if you like you moved like this, like trying to skip it or anything, you just you just turned. You, you just turned. 
I am Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man entitled to their sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs... Has it continue? To God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers instead. I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose rapture. Oh, maybe I'll let him read it. Not me. Let me say it. You guys might be able to hear this. It's pretty cool. But what I what I really liked about this whole game, uh, m main thing actually when I was younger too, it was like first it was like I feel like an adult. I'm like all the cool kids. And the second thing that I really really liked about this game were the plasmids. So like when I when I was younger, obviously when I was like what like. 12, maybe like 10 actually, yeah 10 or 12 when I started playing this game and actually enjoying it, uh, one thing that really like hardcore stood out to me was the fact that you had to change between your gun and your plasma. Because when I was younger and I would play all these other games that had characters with powers, it was either you use just powers or you use just guns. And just like the fact that like uh, you could do this, uh, you could just play this game. Like you could play a game where you could use powers and you could use guns was just incredibly cool to me. It was one of those ideas that I actually always had when I was younger. Me and my friends would play pretend. We'd do stuff like that. It was really fun. But anyways, welcome to Rapture. Oh. Man, it's, it, this is honestly going to be the biggest nostalgia thing for me for this whole channel. I like that I, I, I think it's kind of funny though, I just kind of realized something. I, uh, I continuously say I'm going to preface this before every new game I'm going to play. And uh, I do have, what is, what do I have here? I have one, two, three. Yeah, I have three new games that we're going to be playing. I have them all laid out right here. Uh, don't you guys worry, you're going to be seeing them throughout this week. You're going to see um, on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Hopefully, if, as long as I can get those videos out there, you guys are going to be seeing these brand new games. Not brand new games, they're kind of old. Uh, one of them is actually pretty old, honestly. And then the other two. Uh, there you go. Oh, oh yeah, that guy died. Uh, yeah, he's dead. What's up? Oh, it's a late. You're a lady. You're oh, I think. I I, I th this is so weird to have the subtitles because I never had the subtitles before on this game because I just like I like went through about the subtitles and that that's a girl. I thought it was a dude. For for like so long, I thought it was a dude. Ready? This just appears like right here. I think yeah, <laughs> it just appears. Love it. Love it a lot. Oh yeah, seizure warning. Might have been a little late. Uh, so, th for those of you who have epilepsy, my B. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry, I can't even say my B. I, I'm kind of held responsible because I didn't give you that warning in the beginning. Anyways, so you guys are going to love this game. I hope. Uh, definitely going to love this game. Oh, my health bar and my E bar look so tiny. I'm so used to them being like like a quarter of the screen like it, they get huge Vita Chamber so Vita, Vita Chambers are cool this is where you respawn if you die uh, it's kinda hard to die right now could I? yeah I can't see I can't I can't jump over the edge yeah I'll wrap you in a sheet oh god you're just you just gr you're just gross splicer lady Woo hi oh Yeah you're scary. Not really. Welcome to Rapture, opportunity awaits. Yeah yeah. Wrench? Hey. Oh yeah, uh, I should probably also say a profanity warning too. Uh, actually I'll put all this in the I'll put all this in the description below. Dead. Oh, and I'm, I'm so used to the I'm so used to the wrench 
swinging so fast because I've actually uh, I've played this game to the point where you can get this uh, what is it this one tonic and tonics you're gonna find out about later but I, I got to the point in this game where you can get this one tonic where it can make your wrench swing so fast it is my favorite tonic in this whole game because it's like there's there's no stopping you once you get it like you can just like swing your wrench so fast Nothing's gonna dodge it. It's just gonna get hit and it's gonna die. There you go. All right, so we got the little sisters right here. Little two sisters. Uh, Eve, Eve's garden. This is a. Uh, this is something that's very cool in the game. That's sort of. Sort of meta. Well, not really meta. It's kind of like it's one of those things where it's like, you have to think how egomaniacal was Andrew Ryan to name something after something in the Bible. And it's like you just you're looking at it, and he he literally names this uh, the, the whole machine, the whole line of machines. Eve, Eve's garden. <laughs> Who so many people had to be so angry when they went down there. But anyways, enough about 1940 and 50s, 60 SJWs. It's time for more Bioshock Splicer two. Little fish ain't worth towing it. No no big daddy. Yellow. Jeez, that's racist. Yellow! <laughs> Always have been. Yeah. Why did I give him an accent? Maybe they had an accent. Oh, I, I'm dead. I'm dying. Oh, I'm gonna die. Well, oh hi, little girl. <laughs> Listen, um, I want to be friends. Honestly, I just want to be friends. I don't want to do anything bad. I want to hurt you. I just want to be friends. Right? We can be friends. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we can be friends. Ha. <laughs> Ooh, your toes. Your, your toe and your right foot was just... It was bending the wrong way. It was bending... Oh, jeez. That, that was a yawn. In, in, in case you couldn't tell, I was a yawn. Oh, no, that was... Her toe was bending at the wrong place in the wrong time. Wrong time is because I was looking at it. The, the, the number one level in this game that I hate out of like anything that actually happens in this game. Number one level I hate is the uh, level where you meet Alexander the Great. The dude who's like nuts. Because he injected himself with so much uh, Adam that he just completely lost his mind. So instead of being like an intelligent individual and being like, oh, maybe an overdose of Adam makes you go insane, he gave himself so much Adam that he just turns into a blob. Like a literal. It's, it, it's so gross. You guys are going to see him later and you're going to be like, oh my god. Yeah, let's stay away from that. This is the internet. We don't like dead animals. Hi, hey, bud. You? How? There's no hole in the ceiling. There's no way the door would have opened it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Got that. Oh, hey, this is actually going pretty well. Almost maxed up. Well, you don't. Yep. Oof. Isn't that guy dead? Yeah, that guy died. Uh, sorry. Oh, why am I going so silent? I think I'm just taking in all the stuff in the game now. Oh, I, I missed the uh, chains on my wrist. That's something that's apparently like very symbolic in this game. The chains. It's supposed to be like he's not a man. He's a slave. And the chain is supposed to represent like he's chained down by, like uh. His, abil his willingness to serve. Like, he's not, like, it's a man chooses and a slave obeys. Man chooses! Yeah, uh, you know, actually, I, I just kind of quoted something in the game. I don't think it's really going to ruin anything for you. 
But uh, it's, it's towards the end, and it actually is a really cool quote. Uh, and <laughs> it's... <laughs> since, since we're... Oh, I got a dollar. Since we're in now time, too, uh, that insult is less... Uh, it's less of an insult now than it was before. So whereas before in the past, it could have been like, someone said that to you, and like you were a person who always like obeyed everybody. Like it would have been the biggest insult of your life. Like someone's basically just insulting your manhood. But now it's like my manhood. Who told you I was manly? Oh, lighthead splicer. Of course. You're not really gonna get a lot right now. In the beginning of the team, you're not gonna grab, be able to grab a lot of stuff. Yes, he is. I only have I have nine dollars total right now. Ten dollars total. I'm just searching everything. Oh, and I'm drunk. <laughs> Went well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So this is one thing that you encounter a lot in the game, is a uh, low amount of uh, Adam. You, not Adam, I mean, sorry, like the uh, Eve. You get a low, low amount of Eve very often when you're playing on the higher difficulties. Uh, especially when you're just starting on the game, because these, are, these things are literally going to save your life. Always, always. So basically, like, you're gonna, you're gonna want to use less, like, assault at plasmids and more, like, uh, defensive ones. Kind of like you're gonna use cyclone traps, stuff like that. Like, that, those are way more effective right now. But, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, I made that mistake. <laughs> yeah, I almost shot her. No, I know just looking at it doesn't make me shoot her, but, like, I accidentally pulled the trigger and I was like, oh, eesh, that would have been bad. Don't be fooled, yeah. These things are evil! And they know it! So, watch, doesn't the dude, like, who, like, comes up on it, just, like, he appears out of nowhere? Like, just keep watching here, like, you don't even see him, like, walk up. Like, it's basically just, like, he's just, yeah, he's just, like, walking. And, like, he's, like, Oh, hey, I'm just gonna sit here until this dude, like, comes. <laughs> okay, so that's just messed up in it, so in it of itself. He just, just jumped and pistol whipped a little girl. <laughs> oh, yeah, and this dude gets messed up. So right now, the big daddy is actually sort of justified. But, uh, once... The big daddy's justified because this guy is trying to actually kill her. Whereas when it... Th this is how I justify it. Uh, when you get to a certain point in the game, you can do this thing pretty much called harvest or rescue. Uh, when you rescue a little girl, a little sister... Yeah, these things. Play director's film. We can, I'll, I did that in my own time. but basically just them behind the scenes making the game. But anyways, uh, you can harvest the little girls, which gets you a lot of Adam. Right? And uh, basically, it, it kills them, though, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, uh, it's harvesting little sisters kills them. And it's like, it's wicked. It's awful. Like, I just, I've never ever had like a need or want to do that. Like, I can survive with the amount of Adam they give me right now. And, and it also feels good to do something good for like these little girls who actually need help. They need an actual daddy, not like this fake one that they're just falling in love with randomly. But anyways. Jeez. Oh, uh, <clears throat> still close. Jeez, I forgot. I just, I just kind of went off on a tangent. Oh yeah, that's right. So when you get, so you can either harvest the little girls, which is basically killing them, or you can rescue them, which basically turns them back into an actual little girl. Oh, in that case, you're justified because basically the big daddies aren't gonna do that. They're not even gonna like, they're not even gonna like take the atom from the little girls, which is basically what they're doing. 
the little girls, all, all they do is harvest Adam. Like, that's basically what their job is. They're the uh, ecomaniacs of Rapture. Pretty much there's like a whole like ecosystem that kind of happens in Rapture now. And uh, little sisters have to be a part of it or else there'll be a surplus of Adam. <laughs> I love doing that in that part because they always jump in. They'll never like try to avoid it. So I'm, uh, for, for this, I'm going to keep on trying to do like one area per episode. So with, with that being said, I'm almost through this area right now. So, uh, whoa, that's right, that, that scared me. Oh, Andrew Ryan. So tell me friend, which one of these girls sent you? The KGB wolf or the CIA jackal? Huh. Nobody, actually. Uh, I can reveal that secret right now, and I can ruin this whole game for you guys, but no. Because, uh, I, I'll, I'll give you a hint, you were sent down here by somebody. You were sent down here by somebody. I'll help you guys. I'll help you guys get in. Hey, yeah, friends. Friend, hey, look, I help. I help. Wait a minute. I'm supposed to get through. Yeah, I'm supposed to go over here, huh? I'm not supposed to help my friends. My friends. <laughs> They're my friends. All right. So that's Bioshock, guys. Bioshock, my lovelies. Uh, I hope you guys are gonna be enjoying the series because I know that. Uh, You're gonna love this because I love this game so much. Sorry, I just kind of went pause for a moment there. Uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, press the like button down below. If you guys want to see more videos like these, put it down in the comments below. If you guys like me and this channel, press that subscribe button down below. If you guys really like me and this channel, press that subscribe button down below. And also, too, don't forget to press that tab button up top. Open up Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and MySpace. And uh, after you do that, uh, share these videos, post these videos on there, do whatever you got I can do to get the word out there about these videos. Because like I said before, the more views these videos get, the more subscribers I get, the more entertaining I can make these videos for you guys. Also too, if you did press that subscribe button, uh, don't forget to press that bell button next to it. Once you do, click on send me all notifications from this channel, and then click save, and then you will be updated for whenever I post the videos. And again, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.